What is going on, you wonderful thought-having people? As always, I'm Jake from Give It Thought, and let's just get right into this unusual story. So it turns out Lionhead, or more specifically, one of their employees, named Sam Van Tilburg, pictured right here looking like he's telling his mom he doesn't know how those cookies just disappeared from the jar, used some, uh, rather illegal tactics to convince a troll to not release some pictures of an early build of Fable. And by illegal tactics, I mean he threatened to inform the hacker's mother of his unsightly activities on the internet. Lionhead, in case you don't know, is, or was, the studio that was famous for bringing the gaming world the gift of Fable. And and they also gifted us their infamous studio head, Peter Molyneux. If you're unaware, just picture the Sean Murray before Sean Murray. Yeah, that's how much hate this guy got. The story goes that all the way back in the yesteryear of 2003 when people were still using Friendster, anyone remember that? Nah, but back in 2003 a hacker group called Kibbits got their hands on some pre-release photos of Fable and one of those photos had something on there that Lionhead did not want to leak before the game released. What was it? Well, I can't in a million years imagine why Lionhead did not want the photo out considering it pictured a child being stabbed through its head by the player character. As of right now, the photo is still not public, but I'd say we'll get to see it sooner or later. Anyway, the hacker group threatened Lionhead with releasing a still unannounced photo from the game, and remember that troll that actually stole the pictures? Yeah, he was 16 at the time, and clearly not too bright because he ended up posting some of the stolen screenshots to Lionhead's forums. And you know where this is going. Lionhead figured out the kid's IP address by checking to see where the picture was uploaded from and traced back his physical location to the hacker's house. Here is where the whole thing gets a little slippery. The fellas at Lionhead, from knowing where the kid lived, managed to get a hold of the guy's high school record through a mate, including a poem that he had recited at his end of year class. That's pretty dark. If that poem was personal, then I don't know, I guess the kids should not have messed with Lionhead. According to Van Tilburg, what they did next was, we wrote a public message as Lionhead Studios to the group kibitz, and we started the message with the opening lines of the poem that he had recited in high school, and we included the landmark he could see from his house where he lived. And then Van Tilburg told him, you have got to stop this now, or otherwise I pass all of this information onto your mum. Ooh, that's just evil. Is it wrong that I kind of want to know what that poem said? Because I kind of want to know what that poem said. From there, it is unknown what happened, but according to Van Tilburg again, he kept quiet and he was a very kind, polite boy after that. The thing is, if that backfired, Lionhead would have been in a world of hurt, and we would have likely never gotten a sequel to Fable. Van Tilburg even said that the studio's legal team was only told of the matter at a later point, so they weren't even prepared to be sued by this kid and his apparently intimidating mum. And I know nothing about law, and especially law in the United Kingdom, but I do believe this falls under blackmail because according to the London criminal solicitors, blackmail is where one person threatens the victim with physical harm, exposure, or other kinds of threats unless a demand is met, which will benefit the offender at the victim's expense. And punishment can be as high as 14 years in prison. So uh, Van Silberg and his buddies dodged a bullet right there. Although they may have been able to get out of it considering the kids stole their material, but internet law was was just beginning to take effect back in 2003, and I imagine there would be no statutory measures against photos. The hacker, who would be around 29 years old now, does not seem to harbor any ill will towards Lionhead because Van Tilburg said, I met him many times after at community events. Lionhead's ex-studio head is still working even after his studio was shut down. Recently, Molyneux and his new studio, 22 Cans, released the mobile game The Trail. The game, which is very much unlike the series that he made his name from, Fable, instead the trail tasks players with strapping on a backpack and heading into the stylized wilderness. And believe it or not, the game actually isn't that bad. After Goddess though, there was nowhere to go but up, honestly. Molyneux told The Guardian in February of 2015 that he would never speak to the press again. But just this year, he participated in an interview where he was asked if he thought he was a pathological liar. Molyneux, of course, denied that he was. So what do you think about Lionhead's actions involving this kid? Do you see them as blackmail? Or did the kid get what he deserved for stealing the studio's property? I'm kind of leaning toward that last option. But the whole thing is just hilarious. Be sure to tell me your thoughts on this story or anything about Peter Molyneux down below.
and I think that's where I'm going to end today's video. If you enjoyed this video, you know what you have to do. Hit that like button for me, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button too. It'll put you first in line for all the upcoming gaming news, especially that of the scandalous variety, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you missed yesterday's video, it was all about Todd Howard winning a Hall of Fame award. So if you think he might not have won that award, go check that video out. Or if you're a fan of his, go check that video out. Either way, it's fine. But I think that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, give thought to everything.